880 employees of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration were laid off yesterday, including some meteorologists. Oh NOAA has monitored the U.S. weather and climate since 1970. Yeah, the agency also steps in during severe weather emergencies. Mm -hmm. WFL meteorologist Peyton Malone joins us now to explain more about the agency, what it does, and specifically what they do in terms of what you do, Peyton. Yeah, you know, we were talking last hour, guys, about how important NOAA is for everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, from forecasts, but beyond that, we were talking about their advancements in hurricane modeling and how that's helped us the past couple of years really predict accurately rapid intensifying hurricanes and this um, segment I wanted to talk more about the forecasting and how important what they do is to create the forecast we launch weather balloons across the United States in fact there's about 92 different locations that launch these weather balloons why are they important well weather balloons are launched to gather data from the surface going up tens of thousands of miles and we use that data from the balloons to plug it into models uh, in some instances when NOAA and the National Weather Service becomes understaffed and there's less people or funding to do these weather balloons, we start to lose data. Therefore, we start to lose the accuracy and the models. And so it's so important. And yesterday it was announced, uh, regardless of, I don't know if it's because of the layoffs, but there was one weather service office in Alaska that is stopping these weather balloon launches because they don't have uh, enough resources for it and that takes away a little piece of the puzzle to create data and why is it important well Alaska is our first instance of us sampling these weather systems that are coming into the U.S. so all these different things are so many different factors that NOAA is involved in whether it be the actual forecasting or the researchers who create the tools to create the forecast such as the models all of these things go into what we do every day and regardless of whether you watch people on YouTube give the weather here on channel 4 we could not give you any amount of valuable information without what NOAA is supplying us and all that data that they give us is how we create the forecast guys. Peyton, to be clear here, still working to figure out exactly who was cut and where mm -hmm. the uh, uh, the advocate Times Speaking Union there, NOLA.com reporting this morning that we're not seeing any cuts locally, at least right now in this first round of right. phases. But what are the questions you have this morning going forward, considering that this is so vital to what you do specifically? I think it's the future of the Weather Service mm -hmm. and does this hamper their ability to innovate. And because mm -hmm. we know forecasting has changed so much, not only in the past 20, 10 years, but in the past five years, the advancements we have seen. Does this stop? Does it continue at this same uh, rate? We don't know yet, but it's so important because weather forecasting is a constantly evolving and a difficult thing. It's a lot more than just looking at that little information on your app. Guess where all that information on that app you look at comes from? the National Weather Service. Mm -hmm. So without that information, we just don't know what the effects will be long term. Mm -hmm. And I know we're wrapping this up, but it's also what I've seen with you in, in working with you know the organization. You're not just reading data and then reverbing it to us in a way we understand. You guys often have discussions about things and figuring out how you can predict something. Yeah, and you know, the Weather Service, we're not just getting their information from forecasters. We're using all that raw information that the forecasters from the National Weather Service use too. So mm -hmm. it goes just beyond the simple fact of here's my forecast. It's all the things that lead up to creating that forecast, which sure. NOAA, it's vital for. So. All right, thanks Peyton. We mm -hmm. appreciate that look inside of all of this.